Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines. So today we are going to be finishing off our area that we were working on last time over here and let's go check on our like Hickory district over here. There is less go goods issues but I don't know if it's because they're using this or not. Maybe they need to be able to actually like get through this road. So if we turn this bit into like a six lane so it doesn't have the middle, will they be a bit more willing to use it now? Well, a train just came in. So now they should be able to go both ways from there. So at least that is something. Um, again, this junction is really backing up. So I'm filming this one after the last part, so I haven't got to any suggestions if you suggested it about the intersections. So today is another a day of horrible intersections. So this seems to be working a little bit better now we've got the two ways in. That one way system was messing us up, I think. How is our little farming area doing? It definitely seems to have grown. Looks like we need to have a little bit more residential over here though. So let's add in a couple more residential roads, I think. Just to make this area a little bit bigger. We'll have a little bit coming off there. Uh, the problem is, is it's quite a compact area now. Have a bit there, and a little bit there. Okay. So those extra bits should really help us out. Getting us the extra people living over here that we may need. Okay, there we go. Because they are having work issues, so I want to make sure that we're not like alienating people over here. So hopefully that will help. Um, this area is doing okay. They are having some noise issues, I guess. Well, I don't know why. You're not even in the noisy part. Okay, so over here, I want to make like a town. It's going to have like an industrial area over this way. So there should be plenty of ways for them to get onto the highway and everything like that. So hopefully it's not going to back up massively like the rest of the city is. But we will just have to wait and see. So this will be your main, the main road, we'll say, into the town. And it can have ooh, one little bit that comes off, like here. And then the rest of it will be smaller roads. And then over here we'll have our industrial area. Which is again going to have a road that comes off. And this one's going to go all the way around. And then link up just there. Not perfect. Really, really not perfect actually. Um, get rid of this one. Okay, let's do that again. And then maybe do it like this. Okay, there we go. So it's going to have quite a big industrial space. But we'll link it up to the cargo network. So cargo can be delivered everywhere. Um, hopefully we're not... At least we're not having massive train jams anymore. We do seem to have solved that much for the regional trains. There's still a few train jams here and there, but they're not quite as bad as they were. So our industries are doing a little bit better, like resource-wise. They're not struggling quite so much. 
So this is going to be our industrial area. This is going to be the bit we do first. Now we're going to have these roads because the, these are ideal for an industrial area, I think. So I'm going to link this to there and to there. Not to there. And not to there because I don't want to have too many junctions on this main section, really. Because that's how you get lots and lots of traffic. We'll have one more up there. So hopefully by not linking it in too many places, it's going to lead to the traffic flowing a little bit better around the section. And we want to get ourselves a cargo train. So we'll get another one. There we go. So that is the how that bit is going to look. Pretty good. Uh, I know you're not going to have water or power yet because we're not linked up to the rest of the city. I'm just, you know, sort now. So over here is going to be like our high density area. So we're going to have like block maybe this big, and then we're going to have some. The little bits that come off it, kind of like this. I don't want to end up looking too like similar. I want there to be a little bit of variety in the shape of everything, and the size of houses, and the way the roads work. You know, it just adds a bit of variety. So that's going to be like. Really commercial and some offices, and then it will go into some high density residential right up to the edge of the highway, I think. Because why not? And um, we're going to have a little road that links up there. There we go. And we'll do something similar over this way. rain is really messy with my eyes. It's like, oh, let's um, change how we're looking at things. But I can't really see for building, that's the problem. I want to make sure we're not linking on this other big road too much either. Because that would be no good. And that one can stay a bit of a bigger block. I can probably put like a university or something in there. And some schools. And then we'll have this bit go down like here. Like that. Okay, so that's our basic shape. Let's go off in a few places and then. With some smaller roads where we're going to have like some low density residential look we'll have a big block here and it will be dead end in places because I don't want it linking through everywhere those can be two dead end streets and maybe this one will dead end just there as well and maybe get up to there so it's a little bit less organised, this area, is the idea. You know, none of the roads, like, go anywhere. We'll have this go down into there. And this one can link through. And we'll have this one as well linked to there. We'll have a little bit of a dead end there. So it's a bit gridish, but a vaguely interesting grid is what we're aiming for. Like that, like that. And we'll have a dead end there. 
Move the dent there. And then that could be like a little park or something in the middle. Would do something very similar. And then they can like walk through this section, even if they can't drive. Is what I want. Okay, that will do. I think we're getting a bit big, I think. <laughs> But it's looking like quite a nice area. Looks like we've got some commercial demand again. I might just whack a little bit more over here. Because it kind of works out quite nicely. Just whacking bits on, just over here. So I want to maybe do like this. Go a little bit further. And we will link it from here. So it's straight. And then make it go that way. Excellent. And then we will add roads in. And add a road in. Also going that way. Okay. Uh, it's probably going to complain that it's not got any power shortly. But that's okay. Um, I just want to get in all of this commercial. While we've got demand. It's okay, the power will come back. See, it's going back already. Because by dealing with this commercial demand, hopefully it's going to raise some of our other demands. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's still spaces to build places, like as everything else still has space to build, apart from commercial at the minute, so that is why we keep seeing the good old commercial demand come back. Uh, let's get some pipes done over here then. Looks like we're also going to start needing a bit more water as well. So, we'll get some more water pumps going, maybe around here. And a bit more sewage treatment as well. Didn't link up. How annoying. So, we'll get all of this done nicely. So there's plenty of water and then we need to link it up to the power grid okay so then power grid wise um i'm gonna take power along the highway i think so we'll take it to about here and then it can follow the highway get around this intersection and then we'll have a little bit that goes in just here and then we'll go link up industrial area as well like this not like that actually kind of like that and then in, in this corner okay so now that's got electricity I want to get some industrial building like in these corners So this area is going to start getting used and I want to also add in all of like our uh, you know, facilities. So I want a university just here and then we're going to have a big high school and we'll have two elementary schools either side of the high school 
Um, probably want another high school. Let's hope this area is going to be a little bit more of a education based zone and we'll have another high school. And then wherever we need elementary schools we'll get another one of those. Two. So this area is going to boost our capacity just that little bit. Uh, we are going to want a hospital. Somewhere where we'll, one is going to fit. We'll have one there. We're going to want a bit of death care. And they can go on this road. There we go. Um, we're also going to want a fire thing. And we're going to want over, one over in the industrial area as well. Oh, we're getting some more money. Um, we're going to want a, another one of these. And we might even get another jail over here. Just to keep our capacity way up there. Just in case it all goes wrong. Okay, so that is all of that looking very nice. And swish. So, let's get in our commercial bits. And then we're going to have some office as well. You know, just tidying it up and then high density residential. Hopefully this will... Oh wait, that's going to be... Uh, that one can be high density. And then we're going to have Oh wait, we want a few more offices. So this area is probably going to take ages to build. But, that's okay. Um, so what still has big roads? This does. This does. So all of this is going to be high density. And then we get in our low density stuff as well. So this whole section should be pretty good. Like they should be well off, really. I, I want to get a couple of parks in. Uh, we'll get the botanical gardens, just like. Oh look, they're starting to build. We'll get botanical gardens there. Um, we'll get a little bounce castle. So we kind of want to get stuff that's going to carry the power. Um, I'm going to get some plazas. One there, we'll get another plaza just here. Maybe another one there. Um, we'll get a couple of sports parks. Each of these can go by the school areas. There we go. So this area is going to be like one of those areas where everyone wants to live. Because it's got lots of parks. Um, we're going to get a couple... We're going to, oh no, we're going to have a luxury. We're going to have a zoo. Like down here. There we go, in that corner. Um, transport tower. Have we got a space for you? It's big enough. But you were funny. So, oh yeah, we can get the transport tower in. So we'll get the transport tower in. Uh, colossal order offices there, just a little bit too big. Oppression office. Oh, let's get that. Um, and a science centre. Hmm. All of these are a bit big. What about you? The sea and skyscraper. Yeah, we'll get you in there. There we go. So this area is going to hopefully grow really nicely. Once it feels like it. And then over here. Well, let's make this a district. Oop. 
So there's one district. And then this is going to be another district. There we go. And, oh, yes, let's um, pick some extra policies for this one. It is going to have harsh prison sentences, um, taxation, it's going to have tax relief, so it grows nicely, um, high tech housing, I'm going to encourage biking. So, yeah. That should work out quite nicely. Well, I hope it will. Right, so I haven't linked up the cargo station yet, but we'll probably do that next time. Um, let's go and check up on the traffic over here so this is doing okay not great but okay if it was two lanes I think it would be perfect you know because it's pretty much constantly moving maybe we just need to like so people aren't merging at like this point let's um keep it as a one lane thing maybe that will help they're not having to merge I guess it might help and maybe if we actually turn this one down to a one lane as well and there's like no merging. No merging on this section, please. Let's see if that helps it a little bit. Over here, the traffic is definitely a hell of a lot better. A little thing has seems to have worked out quite nicely. And it is hoping I'm help, hoping it's reducing traffic over here. Definitely looks like it is because there's like no, no garbage trucks and stuff over here. Maybe we'll even try. Well, where's it gone? I might try putting trucks back on it. Now we've got it working. So where is it? Here it is. So here. Um, shift. We can have trucks on here now. See if that works. You can go this way now, trucks, if you want. Uh, this area is looking okay. We are having a few traffic issues, it looks like. With people wanting to get in and out of the... Um... It's just because of how silly these traffic lights work. Um, if we turn them off, that might help. And also, there should not be traffic lights here. <laughs> that is not a place for traffic lights to be. Hopefully that will help that. Um, this area is looking very nice still. We're having good issues in parts of the city. And in this in this area as well. Why are we having good issues here? Surely it's just as easy as like one, two, three. And it looks like this roundabout is also having some traffic issues. Don't know why. But it kind of is right now. But I'm hoping that what we did today has worked out quite nicely. It looks like we've increased the population quite a bit. Um, and we've still got to wait for like 
Lots of people to live their life, basically. I think I was a little over ambitious with some of these goals when I made this scenario. But there we go. Looks like lots of people are coming over to the city. Wow, this new section. Probably because they're all moving in. That's probably why there's a little bit of traffic right now. You do know you can use two lanes, guys. So I'm hoping that's all it is right now. It's just a rush of people moving into this section. Okay, we need to put a little park over here. Link up the power, I think. Um, we'll get a nice, like, bouncy castle. I don't know. We'll get a bounce castle here. And then we'll have, like, a dog park there. Is that going to link the power up? Yes. It did. Wonderful. And hopefully this area is going to be, like, a lovely space to live. And it's all going to level up nicely. And everything like that. And it'll have loads of people living there. This industrial area, literally nothing yet, but there we go. These things happen. So, as well, we need to. The first, last thing we're going to do for this section is a bus link. Um, it can be linked to this one. Oh, wait, we're not on buses. Okay, so let's uh, make a bus line. So it's going to go... Where, 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 we, where did we build? Over here. In... In here. So this should really help boost this area nicely. Ooh, we kind of want to go that way and then that way went down here went around and I think it's going to have its own little bus route as well that goes through a little bit more of the centre because it is like a big big place this one okay and then it will head back to wherever it is, where where is it? I suppose the city might be in a good place to have a bus for this place, but and then we'll have one for the industrial area as well. Which is gonna go in 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 and then round and then back. So that's going to be the bus routes. They're probably going to have way too many buses on for now, but we need the area to actually grow before we decide if we're going to take any buses off or not. Anyway, this is where we'll, we will be leaving this episode of City Skylines. Please like if you have enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.